What's up guys? I have finished the Mexican event. Gonna throw that video up tomorrow. Finished last night at about 2 a.m. I was playing forever. A lot of you guys are frustrated with certain tiers, so I'm gonna talk about the tiers. There's some glitches. I'm hoping Digital Legends will get those glitches fixed for the event, but today we're talking about one thing and one thing only, and that is the Dual Freedom Revolvers. So you guys remember last year Halloween, they came out with the Darkness Combo Guns, and if you word that braided head, it was called the Shadow Hunter Braid. You got a 60% increase in damage while using those weapons. These remind me of those, but they're even better. Because the Darkness Guns, they had limited range. And these, you get no decrease in damage. You can take guys on across the map. So I want you to watch this gameplay. And watch how far I can shoot guys all the way across the map. The range is massive. Shooting across the whole map and still killing guys in 2-3 to three shots. So these guns are very, very powerful. And the thing that makes them overpowered is the range. The range is almost like infinite. Like I could be down here on the boat and pick a guy up way up top the mountain. This is one of the bigger maps. That's why I'm showcasing this gameplay is because how big the map is. So when would you use these guns? I think you would use them on big maps. So really this map and Roman Gardens are probably the best maps to play this weapon. Now, the other thing you'll notice is the mask I'm wearing. This is very important. The Black Charo mask gives you 50% increase in damage, which comes with the bundle. So you're going to get that mask when you buy these. Really no point in playing with this weapon unless you're going to wear the Black Charo mask because the Black Charo mask gives you a 50% increase in damage while using these guns. So to get the guns, you got to buy the bundle. There's no way else to get them. You have to buy the bundle. You can't buy it with gold. You can't buy it with cash. You can't win them. And a lot of you who've played the Mexican event won the Freedom Revolver, and it's it's okay. Um, it's not the best weapon, but when you put two of these things together, it just destroys. Look at this long-range kill there. Just massive, massive range. And the other thing is the clip size is huge. And I think sometimes we underestimate how important clip size is. The way Respondables plays, it's a very close-range map. Tons of action all the time. That's why people like it. The maps are relatively small, but there's always action. You're always getting shot in the back. It is a very, very fast-paced game, and if you play this game and then you go play another shooter game, you'll almost be bored because most other shooter games are much slower paced. What other game could you have 30 kills in 4 minutes and die 15 times? I mean, that's 45 encounters with the enemy. So very fast-paced game. Clip size is huge because you can go from player to player without reloading. Also, you can pre-fire around corners. You can start shooting before you see somebody, and you're going to be fine because you know you got 12 rounds to continue to shoot as that person turns the corner and rounds that edge. You also move really, really fast with the dual freedom revolvers. Agility is great. I like that about the weapon. That's something I really like. I like to be able to move around fast. It's just fun to be able to move around the map from player to player, picking up those kills. Agility for me is something that's very important. And by the way, the new weapon, which I have, I'll be reviewing tomorrow. I just got it, like I was saying, the, uh, what is it called, the, um, I gotta look it up here, Rocket Guitar Case. That's a good weapon, also overpowered, but the agility is so slow, it's not a weapon I can see myself playing with. This, for me, is fun, because you move around the map so fast, and I really, really like agility, probably more than any other perk. Agility, agility to me, is most important. Now, I've seen some comments recently, and, it, and the comments have kind of gone like this. It's like, Chase, can you make an updated top five respondables weapons? And I've thought about that. And I've almost done it a few times because that video did very well. I think almost 200,000 views. And I can make another one and it would it would get a lot of views and it'd be fine. I'm not going to do that because the game is changing too fast. It becomes outdated with every event because every event brings new overpowered weapons. These weapons here, the dual freedom revolvers, would be in the, my top three if I were to make that list today. Great all-around weapon. Hope you enjoy the review. And can't wait to talk to you homies in the next one.